Hello everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use FL Studio's interface. When you open up FL Studio it looks like this. On the top left corner we have our basic settings where our projects can be saved and loaded. You may also adjust your projects audio and general settings and manage your third party plugins from here. You can use this help button for deeper information about the program. Next to the help button we have our master volume and pitch buttons and you can adjust them simply by turning them. Usually you don't have to touch them. Next to them you can find play and stop buttons and you can choose whether you want to play the whole song or individual pattern. In FL Studio all your instruments and samples are put into patterns so you can easily mix them individually if you want to. You can change the pattern from here. Over the pattern we can see the time of our song and the tempo over here. You can change the tempo by dragging it up or down. On the right side we can see a lot of buttons but the most important are these five first. The first button opens up our playlist which is already open. All your drums, melodies, and other elements of your track are put into the playlist where your song will be arranged. The second button opens up your piano roll which is used for composing. The third button opens up our channel rack which can be used to create drum loops. It also stores all your synthesizers and other plugins you have used in your track. The fourth button opens up your mixer where all your sounds are eventually rooted for mixing and mastering. The fifth button opens up your browser which is already open on the left side of the program. It is used to store all your samples and you can use them simply by dragging them to your playlist or channel rack. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video where we learn how to use FL Studio's channel rack.